With diagnosing Milo, we knew the parts that we needed. And uh, John's good old mate, Alan Gray, uh, he lives not too far from where we were. So we raced down to Train Tamer, got all brand new parts that we needed, and brought them out. It was good to catch up with Alan. There you go, buddy, mate. <laughs> it's good to see you, mate. Yeah. Our big fear here is that we might have bent something beyond what we can see that's broken. But you'd know a trick or two for that, wouldn't you? We'll turn it up the other way and go and bend it back the other way. I knew you'd say that. Cool. Let's have a look at it, mate. All right, mate. Did you bring all my tools back? No. Oh, most people, they see Alan Gray as a fit, older guy who looks fairly dapper and wears overalls and munches out of a bag of lettuce. but. I can't help it. I, I just see him as a like a crusader or something, you know? Because that's the kind of guy he is. This is the good axle. Yeah, yeah. But look at the wear on that from that rubber seal. Beauty sleeves on. Yeah, I suspect the housing's bent. Why do you suspect the housing's bent? That was my well, thought. I don't well, want to know because that. The, because the axle and the flange have separated because of constant movement like that. It's, that, it's the other side that's busted, you know that. Yeah, but it might be, if it's bent, it's bent, I would think. It's probably both sides. It's just bent in the middle. Around here, if you want to hand out of that. Yeah, mate. Al's here. You know what he's going to do, don't you? He's going to watch while I do it, and everything I do, he's going to tell me a different way of doing it, and that I got it wrong. And the problem is, he's usually right. Oh, you got wheel nuts and everything. Yeah, and wheel bearings, WBK too. Oh, look at this, it's got everything. I've been bunging second-hand bloody hubs on for the last 30 years, and you do new ones. I have to knock it out, so I'll just. I had a go at belting it on, but then Ken and Glenn insisted on taking over. So you know, hey, I accepted. And look where that got me with a broken mallet that had worked fine for the last 15 years. On you guys. See my Coles bearing hacker, Alan. Oh, you use gloves. Oh, okay. See, if I had gloves, I wouldn't have to do this, but I've never had gloves. Look, I got QSA after me name, you know, it's qualified smart aleck. But you, you just can't, it's difficult. It's like being married, you're better off if you're married to two people, then you have a vote and, and you can't kind of come out a winner. It's a really good philosophy. I've still got a bent axle, but it's great philosophy. <laughs> uh, oh! <laughs> so what's going to break next? Nothing's going to break next. What are you talking about? Think positive. <laughs> good good luck for the rest of your trip. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Good to catch up with you again. You too. Okay, Definitely mate. catch up. Thanks, Alan. Right on, mate. Bye. What a legend. Fairly good.